Welcome to this Google Admin video brought to you by Apps Events and Acer. In this video, I'm going to talk about password sync and how this allows admins to have password synchronization between Active Directory and Google Workspace. Let's talk about how password sync works. In Active Directory, passwords are stored as write only. They can't be read through any interface such as LDAP. Therefore, conventional synchronization methods, for example, Google Cloud Directory Sync, can't access them. The only way to read passwords is to capture them when they're set or changed. Password Sync has a DLL, named Password Sync DLL.DLL, installed as an LSA notification package. When a password change occurs on a specific DC, the DLL receives the updated password and the username of the user. Password Sync must be installed on every writable DC because Windows on the DC that receives the password change triggers the password sync. The trigger occurs on every password update, whether it's done by the administrator or by the end user. When the DLL receives the username and password, it hashes the password as salted shaft 512 and sends it to the password sync service. The password sync service, password sync service.exe, then finds the user's email address in the Active Directory using LDAP, based on the username sent by the DLL. It then updates the Google account using the directory API. When passwords are changed to the directory API, some application OAuth tokens are revoked. Users might be required to sign in again to applications with their username and password. To use password sync, you're going to need Microsoft Windows Server 2008 to 2019 or later editions. Windows Server core installations are supported, but they require installation and configuration from the command line. This won't be covered in this introduction video. You'll need Microsoft Active Directory Domain Services, ADDS, because Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services are not supported. You need to install Password Sync on all domain controllers. Domain controllers must also run supported versions of Windows Server. Make sure the domain controllers have access to the correct URLs and ports, which are detailed in the support pages. For this beginner's guide, we're going to use three-legged OAuth for authentication as it's simple to implement. However, I'd recommend that most production environments use a service account for authentication. For more information about using a service account, please see the support pages. With those decisions made about this implementation, let's download and install Password Sync. There are 32-bit and 64-bit versions available. So that's installed. So we'll move on to the configuration. So step one is add your Google Workspace domain. To do that, we're going to open up Password Sync from the start menu. We'll then click Next. Add your administrator's email address. Password Sync uses this email address to perform password updates. The address also appears in audit logs in the Google Admin Console. In this case, I've created a dedicated admin account for this purpose called PassSync at ChromeEnterprise.net. Before you continue, make sure this administrator has signed into the admin console and accepted the terms of service. Set up your authentication is step two. For this quick demo, I'm using three-legged OAuth. However, the best approach for more complex setups is to use a service account. So I'll select three-legged OAuth and then authorize now. When prompted, sign into your Google account with the email address used when you set up three-legged OAuth and click continue. If prompted, provide your administrator username and password and click sign in. Click allow. You should see authorization has been granted successfully. Please switch to your application. Close your browser and return to password sync. The status value should change to authorized. If the password sync screen doesn't display authorized, refer to the error message at the bottom of the password sync configuration screen. Typically, authorization is blocked because the user isn't a super admin or the time or time zone on your server isn't correct. 
Step three is set up the authorization access method. Select the authorization access method for password sync to use to query Active Directory. The choice here is application security context, which is the default and recommended setting, anonymous, which isn't a good idea uh, to support in most configs, and user credentials, where password sync behaves as an authorized user. For base distinguished name, DN, accept the default or enter another base DN. If you're using Google Cloud Directory Sync, this setting is usually identical to the GCDS base DN setting. For mail attribute, enter your Active Directory domain's mail attribute that contains each user's Google email address. Usually this is mail. The values in the attribute must exactly match the Google email address, including the domain part of the address. If you're using the replace domain names in LDAP email address option, it might be another attribute. Click Next. The summary screen shows the configuration is saved and the service is running. Click Finish. Repeat these steps for each domain controller in your domain. Password Sync should now be set up correctly. To implement password synchronization, ask your users on AD to change their passwords. The changes will be synchronized to Google Workspace. To prevent users' passwords becoming out of sync, you should prevent users changing their passwords in Google Workspace. Create an internal web page with instructions on how users can, should change their Windows passwords and not their Google passwords. When users, other than super administrators, try to change their Google password, you can direct them to your internal web page that instructs them to change their Windows password instead. This setting applies even if you do not enable single sign-on. Super admins do not get redirected to this internal web page. Make sure that your admins know to change their passwords in Active Directory. To put this in place, go to the admin console. From the admin console homepage, go to security. Click SSO profile for your organization. For change password URL, enter the URL of the web page that you have created. In my case, I have a Google site page, sites.google.com, chromeenterprise.net, change slash home. I click save. And that's it. We've installed set up and configured Google Password Sync for Microsoft Active Directory. If you need to troubleshoot your password sync installation, a good place to start is the toolbox. Here you can check that your server can access the endpoints needed for Google APIs. You can further troubleshoot by downloading the password sync support tool and uploading your logs to the analyzer tool within the toolbox. Please let us know in the comments if you would like a deeper dive video into the setup with service accounts or command line installation. I'm Charlie Love, and this has been a Google Workspace admin tutorial brought to you by Apps Events and ASOC.